good to see you guys. Let's welcome the adults to Sunday School. Good morning, it's good to see you. Hi, I'm Jackie, I'm the Kids Director here at Meadowbrook Church. It is so good to see everybody this morning and I'm especially excited that I get to see some of my friends up here. Now today we're gonna be talking about some pretty fun stuff. Who's going back to school? Yeah, this is fun for some of us and not fun for others, right? Excited, anybody going into kindergarten? First grade? Yeah, second grade, third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade. Anybody in middle school going in? Yeah, yeah. High school? College? Yeah, this is kind of cool. Anybody going to miss their kids? Everybody that's a parent going to miss their kids while they're in school? Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Correct answer is mm-hmm. Well, I dropped off my daughter in high school, and I cried when I left because I'm going to miss her, and I still haven't dropped off my son yet. So this is a whole new season, right? It's like a fresh season. Tell me a little bit about what are our favorite things about school? Yeah. Math. You rock. Math is her favorite. Yeah. Reading. Reading. Very good. I love reading, too. Yeah. Writing. Writing. Very good. Reading. Pastor Brian? Lunch. Lunch. Amen. <laughs> it's my favorite time at work. Lunchtime is so good. Anybody here like Jim? So, one of the very favorite things I liked about school are my friends. I loved being with my friends. And I would say in our family, that is what we talk about almost the most is school being a great place to have good and healthy friends, right? Does anybody have friends here? Yeah, I have lots of friends here. I'm pretty blessed. I feel really thankful that I have such good friends here. That's what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about friendship today. What are we going to talk about? Very good. We are going to talk about what it's like to have a good friends and what it's like to be a good friend. Now, I have this thing. You guys can face me. I have this thing that I do with my daughter and son. Now, it's super important that we have good and healthy friends, right? We want friends that are going to point us directly to Jesus. Those are the kinds of friends we want. Now, let's think just for a second. What what kind of friends, what kind of characteristics would those friends have? Chloe? Kindness, yes. Anybody else? Adults are welcome to, yeah. Love. Our friends that love us. That's a good one. Anybody else? Yeah. Play with you. It's really cool to have friends that will play with you and do different things with you. Now, I have a Bible verse we're going to put right up there on the screen quick. This is from 1 Thessalonians 5.11. Congregation, let's do this all together. Therefore, encourage one another and build each other up just in fact as you are doing. We want people to build us up by their kindness and their friendship. Now, what are they going to build us up to do? Yeah. Live, yes. Good one. Love Jesus. Everybody say that loud. Love Jesus. Louder. Love Love Jesus. Jesus. Very good. Were you going to say something? Yes. It'll help us to be kind. It'll help us to be good friends, too. Yeah. Yep, make more good friends. Now, everybody stand up. If you're a kid. We want all of our friends, the people that we let close into our hearts and the people that we don't know, we want to point them all to Jesus, right? We want to point every single one of them to Jesus, and we want our good, close friends to point us to Jesus, right? I want you guys to keep looking there. Now, there are going to be times where there's going to be like all sorts of people in our lives, but I'm going to, I'm going to ask you guys to do this with your hands. Now, there's going to be a few people that are super duper close to us. Those are the people that we tell our secrets to. These are the people that we know we can trust. Those are those people right here. Now, these people, one of of these people in my hands, her name is Jamie. 
She always points me to Jesus. And I know that when I'm with her or when I'm not with her, she's always pointing me to Jesus and she always wants that. Now, I want, as we look here, let's pretend I'm at school and there's somebody over here that wants me to do something that's not very kind, like they want to gossip or they want to talk unkind. And there's nobody over here to help me choose the right thing. You know what I know? Even though Jamie isn't with me, I kind of see like she's behind me, rooting me on. She's kind of saying, hey, Jackie, even though I'm not here, you can trust me that I want you to do the best you can to love God. You know who else I feel that way with? Our staff here. I know that if I'm not with them and I'm doing something, I know that they're pushing me on towards Jesus, that I can know in my head, even though there's nobody here right now, I have people that have my back, right? Now, what I want us to do as a congregation, I want us to remember this. You guys keep looking that way. I want us to remember this as a congregation. It is important that we look at our kids and say, you know what? When you are with us and when you're not with us, that we have your back. That kids, whatever's going on at school or at home, we want the best for you. We want you to know and follow and love Jesus. That's what we want to do. And that's a commitment I want you to seriously take inside of your heart. So we're going to have a prayer. We're going to pray over our kids. So let's do it together. You can put your hand out if you want. And this is my prayer, that your love may abound more and more in knowledge and depth of insight, so that you may be able to discern what is best and may be pure and blameless for the day of Christ, filled with the fruit of righteousness that comes through Jesus Christ to the glory and praise of God. Let's pray. Amen. I heard a hallelujah. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you so much for every child in this place and not in this place. God, we pray by the power of the Holy Spirit that they would come to know you and to follow you and to love you. And Jesus, we surrender them over to you and ask that you would do miracles in their lives and in our lives. Amen. All right, we can go sit down.